time. So we definitely want to see that continue, and uh, I think we've done a good job of that starting with today. I mean, today. During the, the bye, you had two of your most favorite players today? Well, not, I meant uh, Northwestern. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. The bye went, guy, went yeah. by pretty fast. Kind of I forgot think. about that. <laughs> Is that uh, uh, there's a risk there, and if you guys have had guys get hurt in practice this year, is, does, it, does it seem crazy when you're doing it, or does it seem like the right thing that you have to do this? I mean, it feels a little bit crazy until you go into the game and the things that carry over, you're not missing the tackles because you tag somebody off instead of, uh, you know, thudding them up and taking them to the ground. Right. So you, you do see that it that carries over. At first, maybe you're like, well, why are, we, why are we tackling? Like, this could get somebody hurt, but then it carries over and it makes us more effective in the game, and I think everybody's bought into that. Well, does, it, does it go from... Just tack is it just are you talking just tackling or is it just live you have live more live during a week like this? Yeah, it's it's yeah, more live with you know, engaging blocks and uh, tackling as the whole well. Deal. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you do you feel like you need that for Wisconsin? I think probably yes. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, it's how it's gonna be in the game, so it's better to prepare like that and uh, I think it'll help us bring our best stuff. I know you don't prepare any differently for this game as any other, but there's kind of a mental approach that sometimes gets amplified if it's a, a bigger game. What have you seen from, your, you know, not only yourself, but from your coaches, from the other players about knowing what's kind of at stake in this game, not only big picture, but narrow picture as Wisconsin? Right, yeah, they've, uh, they've had our number the past few years, and uh, obviously it's a trophy game, and it's always a goal of ours every year to, to win every single one of those and have all those trophies in the building. And we haven't had that, that trophy here for uh, a few years now. And so, I mean, aside from everything else, just looking at them in a one-week basis, that's what we want to do is come in and, you know, get that trophy back. And, you know, if, as soon as we beat them, then we can start to look to the next to the next opponent. But right now we're just focused on uh, beating them and not worrying about uh, anything else big picture. Because, because in Dowling, I, I'm trying to, I'm straining my brain to figure out Valley. You guys, Valley, probably looking in the mirror a little bit, play probably similar type of game. Did you look? Did you look forward to that game, or did you like, okay, this is going to be a pain in the ass game? I think uh, there was always some hype about uh, that game, and also being from West Des Moines, mm -hmm. I knew, I grew up probably playing happy. sports with yeah. all, all those guys, so that always was an extra uh, sort of motivation for me, but. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think there was always some extra hype about that game. Knew a few, a few extra people would be there, and that, that was just a real fun game. Does this game kind of?